Hello community! Today we're gonna do Bloom on a Colab Notebook. You remember Bloom from Hugging Face? Bloom is the largest open large language model with about 175 million parameters and we're gonna have now a look at the specific implementation on Colab. So that you see here, uh, 176 billion parameters, 70 layers, 112 attention had, the hidden layer is 14,000 dimensional, and so on. But we have, of course, not at all the RAM available to run it on a free Colab notebook. We have here in Colab only 12 gigabyte of RAM available, so we have to access a smaller version of Bloom. Now, you have the 350 million parameters version, the 760, and at 1.3 billion, Colab will crash because all available free RAM is gone. So what do we do? We, oh yeah, we have to start, of course. <laughs> we have to install our transformers and our specific tokenization methodologies for Bloom. We do this, yes, should be done in a second. Transformers is here. And then we just load the Bloom model, the big signs Bloom from Hugging Face, the 760 million parameter model. And we define our tokenizer. This should be done within seconds. Just to remind you, the 760 million parameters model has only 24 layers, 16 at inch and head, is only 1500 dimensional from the hidden layers. It uses, of course, the byte pair encoding algorithm. I have a video on this. And the hardware that they used on a French supercomputer is, of course, out of scope for every private user. So, still downloading from Hugging Face our Big Science Bloom 760 model. But what we do now is that we define a start sentence. Oh, session crashed. Oh, after using all available RAM. This is, this is some surprise, I have to tell you. So let's do this another time, because last time we, we just managed to do it. So let's do it again from the 760. And I tell you how we go on. So we have a text generation functionality we want to try out. So I need to provide a first sentence to uh, Bloom. My first sentence is, what does the future hold for my professional career as a data scientist? And then we go on. And I think the answer should be have a length of 150 tokens. And this is it. And now the next time I apply this now here on Colab, I use three optimization techniques. The first, of course, is I use sampling. The second is top K sampling. I hope you are familiar with this. If not, I do have a specific video on this. And the most advanced version, if you want, is top P sampling. Short explanation what it is if you're not familiar with it, but we are just going to implement it here. This is it. You can play around with the parameters of top K and top P. These are the parameters that work best for me. And as you can see, now we executed this. We used just five gigabytes of our 12 gigabyte RAM resources. And this is going to take us about a minute to calculate. So the question is, what does the future hold for my professional career? And the answer is, can I really make it with data science? Does this career have the potential to grow for you or do you need to go elsewhere? What is your favorite job subject that you can work on? I hope you find some answers to this question in this blog post. Oh, so either it copied a blog post or it created a blog post. We have no way to decide. There are a number of free online courses and resources on this topic. I can tell you that it was hired by a startup that is also a data science company, and they have an open call for a data scientists that will be working on their product. I'm not a programmer, so I know the exact question you have here, but I can tell you that I can do this job. So you see, it takes a minute on a laptop to go on and do some text generation, given that this is my first sentence, my question. It is on topic. It is really specific an answer to this question. But of course, I would love to show you how the huge model would answer this. But unfortunately, currently we have no way to have access to this because all resources are locked. So if you want to try it out on Colab, please do the optimization. I showed you this sampling step, the top K step and the top P step. It really improves the performance of your answer. 
And otherwise, enjoy this beautiful large language model from Big Science called Bloom. <laughs>